Ty, thank you very much for joining us today. So we've had a lot of bank results coming through, the likes of ABC Holdings, CBZ. Uh, let's start with ABC. A good set of interim results, uh, attributable earnings up by 32%. And of course, this after that successful $50 million rights issue. Reaction from shareholders to this? Okay, there's been a very good response to the ABC results. Um, I think the volumes of shares traded in ABC as well as the price has been uh, on the increase. This is obviously despite the fact that uh, the current week has been a short week because the first two days of the week were public holidays, but uh, significant volumes have changed hands uh, ever since the results came out. What we are now seeing in Zimbabwe is uh, stocks seem to be um, rewarded for paying dividends. So when earnings are good, uh, I think the second part of call is the payment of dividends and generally we've seen good dividends being rewarded in the uh, increase in uh, share price as well as volumes traded. So you'll notice uh, ABC threw down five cents per share. Uh, that's earnings per share for the interim period with a dividend of a cent uh, to, to pay out 20%, which I think the market is quite, uh, you know, appreciated. Yeah. Uh, in, in terms of the other banks, CBZ, um, also impressive set of results there, 35% jump in total comprehensive income for the year to June. Um, overall, how does this fare against the likes of ABC? I think um, uh, CBZ also very commendable set of results. Um, a 35% jump in total comprehensive income from last year to throw down 18.3 million. Uh, for the half year, I think by any standards, those are very uh, commendable numbers. I think um, uh, also to confirm that uh, the cash is there, they've paid out a dividend, although the dividend cover is, is, is just about 5% uh, at the interim level. So unlike ABC, which has paid out 20% of its earnings in dividends, uh, we're seeing a smaller dividend uh, cover in, uh, in CBZ. The price hasn't quite responded. Uh, but you see, it's not surprising in this market. I think investors are still um, digesting and probably waiting for other results to come up. But I think, notably, these two uh, have set the standard for, for banking results and uh, uh, investors' favorites at this point in time. Yeah. I mean, the, these results, if you, as you say, not investors' favourite, but these results sharply contrasted uh, to the likes of Barclays. And you've seen this across the board where Barclays has embarked on this very prudent uh, lending stance. And as a result, we've seen interim earnings down by 30%. Uh, how do you weigh this up? Do, yes. do you think that it's, as you say, prudent of them to, to be taking a stance like this and taking a knock on the earnings front? Or do you think they, that they're being too conservative? Okay. Yeah, well, I think uh, Barclays is always been known for its uh, conservatism. Uh, they are hardly lending at this point in time. So I think they've just made up their mind to make sure that they uh, put sufficient earnings to cover the cost pretty much. So even if you look at their funds to deposit, they are much more than uh, the cycle. Yes. So you will notice Barclays have made money from uh, income more than interest income, whereas the other players are uh, maximizing on interest income. I think notably the land environment has been a bit risky in Zimbabwe, but uh, my feeling is uh, there's still good uh, borrowers in the market, and I think the other banks are pretty much capitalizing on that. So yeah. uh, even after providing for um, non-performing loans, I think uh, the numbers are not bad. So at the end of the day, okay, they remain conservative and they're pretty much broken even, but they could be, um, you know, foregoing uh, the potential for interest earnings by looking at quality lending in this market. Yeah quality of, of those loans. Uh, in the mining front, we had Rio Zim's uh, AGM, which was postponed to today. And it seems that a very positive development at the company. We had management saying that earnings are going to be better going forward, debt under control. Uh, from your side, are you confident in the company right now? Do you think that it's on a, a more stable footing? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think the problem with Rio has always been the debt issue. And uh, uh, what's statement? And that's uh, the expanding of the capital uh, borrowing from December. 
it looks like it has been something that has been a year of sorting them out and we're really looking forward to turn around in the setting of the new year. So we don't expect much this year as they sort out uh, their issues and uh, only next year hopefully things should it's uh, time uh, for out positively. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm sorry to cut you short there. We've run out of time. A tie to Rume, Executive Director at MMC Capital.